Hey YouTube, this is Tyler, and this is me a quick tutorial on the magnetic lasso tool. Now, you, you may be wondering what can I use the magnetic lasso, to, lasso tool for. Well, it's a type of selection tool, like the selection and like the marquee tool, but it's a little different. Like the lasso tool, you can make selections like that, or simple and easy. The polygon, where it makes straight lines. Um, but we're going to be using the magnetic lasso tool and what this does it, it um, sticks on to certain pixels and colors and objects like so you can see the skin tones and the background um, background color when I click once I drag it along it automatically sticks to that color or vice versa you know see how it comes through the hair you know it's um it's a harder color to depict so it it guesses but there's a way to fix that later on if you don't want it to work like that I'm going to show you guys a, little t a couple of tips and tricks on how to use the marquee tool and some shortcuts that help you a lot. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay, now a first um, tip I'm going to show you guys is how to make a straight line with a marquee tool. And now, you may wonder why do you need to make a straight line with a marquee tool if it automatically latches on to the colors or the object or the exact pixels. Well, the reason is, okay, say how I'm tracing around the edge of this right and I want to get all the way back here but see how it latches on to some colors right here on to some of the objects right there right here let me just finish this real quick but see how it latched on right there and then come all the way around along the edge like you would want to because you want you want it to select the whole thing another example would be like come down and you want to drag it all the way along right you're outside of the box so it should drag it so it should drag it down here right but well, it does it. It clips up to the colors up there because it recognizes them. Now, there's an easy way to fix that. Is is after you already clicked it and you're dragging along, you hold Alt, click, and then let go both of them, and you have a straight line cursor. Now, what? Now, the way to use that um, inside of your uh, selection is okay. I'm dragging along, right? I'm outside. I'm outside the color. I'm outside of the the picture right here where my cursor's at. I hold Alt, click, bring it along. I can put it up here; it doesn't matter. Click down, and bam! I got a perfect selection. Now the X drive up here, I can delete. I can just erase it. You know, it's no problem at all. You can take time and go through it step by step with the marquee tool. I mean, the lasso tool. Lasso tool, excuse me. I keep calling this thing a lasso, a marquee tool. Oh my gosh. Anyways, another quick thing. Is say you're highlighting something right, and you and you get enough as you want, right? And you don't feel like going all the way back over here, right? So let me just do this real quick. So I'm all the way over here, right? And I want to, and I want to finish my selection. Doesn't matter where it ends up at. Hold Control, click. Automatically makes a selection and prediction from this point to this point, just like that. And now to deselect anything you make. Now this is a big, um, a common mistake people make is you, you need to deselect something before you do anything else. See now if I try to erase anything, it won't erase anything besides what's inside of the selection, as you can see. So you have a selection there and people won't really, won't really uh, notice it. And we try to erase something or do something else to the picture, it won't work. They might even have a little, little selection, like this big, and they don't even see it. See that little selection right there? It's a little tiny selection. But as you can notice, I can't do anything else besides inside of that, just like that. I can't do anything else. And people might be like, and you actually, you might be like, why wouldn't it let me edit my picture, you know, when, when it ain't working? Press Control and D. It deselects anything. That is a major thing people have. They'll even close out their, 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 current, their current project and reopen it up because they think it's broken. Just press Control D or something like, or as a last resort, you know. And another quick thing on, on that subject, if your cursor stays as a move cursor, double tap or triple tap, uh, well not really triple, they have a specific number, just tap the space bar a couple times, see how it switches between two, just keep tapping that until it'll change, you know, a lot of times, um, Photoshop will freeze up on the hand tool, I mean, not the move tool, it'll freeze up on the hand tool, and just double tap the space bar and try to use a different tool when I get rid of it. Okay guys, now back on to our magnetic lasso tool. Um, you may notice that the settings up here, right? The feather tool is how much it feathers. So let's select something. Okay. And 
unlock the background and let's invert the selection so it selects everything else besides what we got selected so control shift I and let's delete it as you can see it made a straight line you know it's not soft on the edges no feather as you can see let's press, press control Z let's add a 20 pixel um, feather now let's press delete oh, hold on. I'm making a new selection so control D now control shift I delete as you can see how much it feathered it see how it's faded in there that's the feather okay guys now we're, we're going to get into talking about some of the other tools up here <clears throat> now the width you want to keep that at standard 25 pixels you don't really want to mess with that um, it just um, as you can read the little option the little information about it set the hold on, sorry set distance from edge to con consider the path now what that means is that say I'm going along the colors right here and see how the little boxes pop up like so now the higher the pixel the more distance it will get away so if it's a higher pixel this thing will cling on to there more likely if you get what I'm saying anyways but keep that at the standard 25 pixels you don't want to mess with that now the frequency now this kind of picture right here I kind of want to have a high frequency so I'm double the frequency now what that does is it makes more selections more frequently as you can see see all the little dots more often I'm just dragging along it causes more accuracy and sometimes you want that but sometimes you don't want so much accuracy because I might select the wrong thing you know but like it causes it gives you a lot more accuracy and that's what you want sometimes so but um the standard is 50 and most of the time I leave mine at 50 but sometimes I'll amp it up you can put it up as high as you want it to um so that's about it and um the contrast is is pretty self-explanatory you want to leave that at 10% because you because you want the contrast to be really visible you don't want to really affect the image that much so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video there will be many more tutorials coming out soon so please subscribe